Our experiment work taking up uh, the vast majority of the work for the astronauts on board the station and several new experiments uh, studying bacteria were actually launched in return uh, earlier this spring on SpaceX 3. Uh, why don't we now go find out a little bit more about a couple of these from Lori Meggs uh, out at the Payload Operations Integration Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Lori, I understand uh, results of these experiments could actually help us on future flights to Mars. Past studies have shown that bacteria becomes more virulent in space. That's why we need further research to understand why as we travel f to farther places out like Mars. The experiments we're talking about today are called Brick 18. I spoke with David Reed, the lead payload engineer at the Kennedy Space Center, to find out more about these investigations and how the brick canisters work. Brick 18 consists of two investigations. One investigation is looking at um, the effects of flying bacteria in, in microgravity, specifically looking at their uh, how they evolve their resistance to antibiotics. There's a lot of concern right now in the in the spaceflight community. Uh, there's been other research done that shows that mm, some organisms become more virulent, uh, more able to cause disease when uh, they go into space. And um, part of that equation is understanding how they might become more resistant to antibiotics as well, which could be a real problem on a long-term space flight in some place like Mars. So uh, this investigator has got two kind of common bacteria, and he's uh, applying uh, uh, antibiotics to uh, two different antibiotics to them to see they each have different, slightly different genetics in them to see how they respond to that treatment. The second investigator is using um, a small plant called Arabidopsis. It's in the mustard family. It's a it's a very small plant. It only grows about this big, typically, before we um, halt these kind of investigations. And um, it's a so-called model organism because a lot of uh, work has been done on the plant. Its whole genome is sequenced. Uh, but in any event, um, this particular investigator is looking to uh, understand the effects of spaceflight stress on how that plant um, expresses its genes. So when a, when a, when a plant feels a stress, um, like a heat stress or a water stress, it, it expresses certain genes that make certain proteins in its body. And then uh, we can arrest its development, which in plant terms means we, f you know, we fix them and bring them back home. Uh, and then afterwards, we can do biochemical analysis to understand how those genes were turned on and off. So six of these guys fit inside of a much larger canister that looks like this and uh, this is called the brick PDFU canister and you can see there's six positions that are each identified with numbers one through six and that's because uh, the crew member may be asked to chemically preserve individual positions at different points in time. He does that by taking a, another device that looks and acts a whole lot like a fancy caulking gun and so the way the fancy caulking gun called an actuator tool works is you pull back the, the pommel on it, again, just like a caulking gun, and then uh, this is, mates with the top surface of the canister, like this. And, and in the process of a crew member depressing the actuator, then you can see that this, this piston travels down. In doing so, there's a little bit of engineering magic that goes on inside here. There's a, st there's a steel rod that gets driven down through some septas. That steel rod is what actually pushes that piston then inside that I already explained is, is within the individual PDFU, and that forces the liquid on there. Then when the crew member takes this off, at all points in time, this device maintains three levels of containment. So uh, containment and uh, keeping the crew safe is, of course, of paramount importance when we fly in space. So, um, the sort of thing that you could do easily on the ground by simply pouring something from a beaker on top of, a, uh, of biology is a little more challenging in space. So there, there is some sophistication, even though it's something that we call a brick, and it, it even looks like a brick. You could almost build yourself a fort out of these if you wanted to. Now, these experiments and several others that came back on SpaceX 3 are now at the Kennedy Space Center for post-flight analysis.